Minnesota, in any given year, about 70% of people that go into a nursing home do leave. They leave within 30 days, but many end up staying. Now, Medicare doesn't really pay for nursing home stays. So when you go into a nursing home, whatever you have in savings, you probably need to be prepared to spend on your nursing home stay. And they're expensive. In fact, some people can spend down in just a few months. And then they have to apply for Medicaid because they're gonna to need to have, to have someone pay for it. And that really impacts all of us. So what Return to Community does is we look at who are these people that should have gone home that didn't? And why are they staying there? Let's target those people and start calling them and then we'll give them a service like the community living specialist and help them move home. When I was in a nursing home, I figured I just lost my home, that I wasn't going to come back. Last April, he had three toes cut off, and then they tried to save the foot, but they couldn't because he didn't have no circulation. So they had to cut it off below the knee, and then um, he had infection. So then from there, they took him to the nursing home. Many times um, when people go into the nursing home and say they've had a surgery, a, a total hip or a total knee, those rehabs are pretty straightforward. But in Ernie's case where he lost a leg, it gets more complicated because they still need continued therapy beyond what the nursing home can provide. And so we, we come in and we, we bring in those other resources to them. We let them know what's available in the community and what they can tap into. I first met Connie in the nursing home. Well, she came up to the nursing home to introduce herself and try to explain it to us. Then we talked about the VA too, that she would help us get some things. In Ernie's case, um, when I met him, I found out first that he was a veteran. So I was able to hook him up with the VA. And in turn, they were able to help um, get him the equipment he needed to come home, like the walker, the wheelchair, the bath bench. Now I can do just about whatever I want to do with all the equipment that they gave me. I do a lot of walking out in the yard. I go down in the basement. I could never do it without a prosthetic. It wasn't for her. I mean, she was a big help. We didn't know where to go or what to do. Return to Community is having a lot of success keeping people in their home. In fact, of the 2,300 that we've served as of today, uh, roughly about 74% in any given year are remaining successfully at home. In the original analysis that we provided to the legislature, the calculation was that it would save $20 million over five years to the state budget. But also, we haven't even looked at how much we're saving the people that we're helping move home. Those 2,300 people certainly have saved a lot of money. If he had to stay in the nursing home, it would be kind of draining us financially if he was there longer. So this worked out good with the way it was. It is really fun to be able to get somebody home. And in, in Ernie's case, he was a smile from ear to ear. And that, that was just priceless for me to see, that this man is where he wants to be. So I'm happier at home. Well, nursing home is very nice, but it's not like, it's not home. <laughs> I've had people where I've met with them initially and I would say, so what's it gonna take for you to get home? And I had one guy just absolutely shocked look at me and say, I've never thought that I could go home. And so it's beginning that conversation with them to give them that hope that this is possible.